I'm Dr. Matthew Shulman, board certified plastic surgeon, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Shulman. So today's question is really common from people who are getting breast augmentation or breast enlargement surgery. So you're coming in for breast augmentation, you wanna make your breast bigger, and you're gonna do it with implants, but you don't know what size implant to choose. How do you know? Well, let's go through the process of selecting the appropriate implant size for you. And it doesn't matter whether you're getting saline or silicone implants because the sizing is sort of the same. And I'll talk about how we do it because it might be a little bit more complex than you think. So most people who are getting breast augmentation think they come in and they just say, I want to be a C. And we just put in a C implant. It doesn't work that way because if you think about it, it depends on what you're starting with. So someone who's starting as an A cup who wants to be a C cup is going to need a larger implant to achieve that than someone who's a B cup that wants to be a C cup. It's just a math equation. What plus your existing size is going to give you the size that you want. So how do we do that? The answer is we put in implants. But again, the implants don't come in A, B, or C sizing. If you look on the back of the implant, this happens to be a silicone implant for demonstration, but if you look at the back of the implant, it'll give a number. It actually is CCs. That's how we determine the implant size. So you're not getting a B or a C size implant. You're actually getting an implant that has a number, a volume. And this is a 345 CC implant. It's printed on the back of the implant. So this is a 345. And that may not mean much to you, and that's why you have to work closely with your board certified plastic surgeon to figure out what size is best for you. So there's really two ways to size an implant. The first is, what do you want? What look are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to get a B cup, a C cup, a D cup, a triple X? Those are, those are the types of conversations that you have with your plastic surgeon so we can figure out what you want. It doesn't mean that's what you're gonna get, but we wanna figure out what your goals are. So that's the first part. The second part is probably the more important part, and that is what size implant can your body hold? It matters. Your body is a certain dimension. Your chest is only so wide. If you put an implant in that's too big for your body, it's just gonna stretch out the skin, the implants are gonna be too close and you can get a uniboob or implants that are touching, or you can be hanging off too much to the side, you can get too much side boob, all these things that can be one, not a very desirable appearance, but more importantly, can actually cause a lot of problems later in life. The skin can get stretched out, the breast can start drooping, you could need future surgeries to correct that. So there's a lot of good reasons why we have to be careful not to put an implant in that's too big for your body. So how do we figure out what size implant your body can hold. We measure it. This is a measuring device and I will actually measure your chest and your breast and see what the dimensions are. So we will start by measuring you and I'm gonna measure two things. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the base diameter or the width of the breast. That's gonna tell me the maximum width that the implant can be. The other thing we're gonna measure is the distance between the nipple and the fold. That's also going to help determine what is the appropriate size implant that your body can hold. The third thing that we're gonna do is actually pinch the skin on your breast and pull it. And what I'm trying to achieve is figuring out how much stretch your skin will have. So that if I put an implant in, how much can it hold? How much can it stretch? If the skin is really tight, then it's not gonna hold an implant. And if you put an implant in that's too big, it's gonna to stretch too much, it's gonna look fake, it's going to damage the skin. But if you have skin that really stretches, then that tells me that your body can hold a larger implant. So those are the measurements that I'm gonna take on your body during your consultation or during your sizing appointment. Those measurements then correlate to the implants. So if I were to measure this implant, that correlates with 
the width of your breast. If I were to measure the projection, that will help correlate with the distance between your nipple and your fold. So that's how I convert the measurements I took on your body with the measurements of the implant. The great thing about implants today is they come in so many different dimensions. So I have a whole variety of implants I can choose from. This is actually a book that I use to help pick implants. So if you look at this book, it actually has charts for each implant style, each implant size, and it shows those dimensions so that I can better match up your dimensions with the dimensions of the implant. So after we figured out what is an appropriate implant size for you, then we have to decide if that's what you want. And how do we do that? It's simple. You try them on. In my office, I have a separate sizing appointment for my augmentation patients. So you'll come in on a separate day, usually a few weeks before your surgery, and we'll go through all the sizing process. That way you can pick out the implant. And we do this this way so you're not pressured and it's separate from the consultation and, and you have time to kind of spend picking out the implant size because it's important. Now, you don't just try on the implants because it's not gonna give you a realistic understanding of what they're gonna look like. So I actually have special sizers and they're not shaped like the implant, they're actually shaped like something you would put in your bra just to pad your bra. But these are put over your breast, under a bra, and then you can just simply look in the mirror and see if you like it. And I have a variety of different sizers that you can try on. And when you come in, you should bring a couple different outfits. You should bring a tight shirt, you can bring a bathing suit top, you can bring um, you know, different outfits, a dress, other things, because you wanna see what your breasts are going to look like in different clothing, because I think that's important. So we do a separate sizing appointment, and that way we can really make sure that the implant you're choosing is the right one for your body, and also the right one for what you want. The reason that we really obsess over sizing of the implants is because it's just gonna give you a better result. It's gonna give you a better appearance, and it's also gonna be safer for you. As I said earlier, implants that are too big for your body will cause problems in the future. What I don't want is I don't want you to feel like you have to have a surgery later because the original breast implant surgery caused damage to your tissues. The skin was stretched out or the breast started drooping because the implant just weighed things down too much and now you need a breast lift. So those are the things that a responsible plastic surgeon will try to avoid. And we avoid that by picking the appropriate implant for your body. Hopefully that matches up with what you want in terms of the appearance, but it may not. So choosing the right implant size is a partnership between you and me. You're gonna tell me what you want and I'm gonna sort of tell you what your body can handle and then we work together and we get you the surgical result that you want. So that's another episode of Ask Dr. Shulman. If you like videos like this and you find them educational, make sure to like, comment, and share. And stay tuned for more videos.